So this is battery-less low-power microcontroller and display which gets its power from all sources of light. So ultra low power microcontroller and microprocessor are used in solar powered smart watches, drone and calculators and various other electronic items. So this video is divided into three parts. First, we will learn how to install bootloader into a microcontroller like normal bootloader. Then how to install main low powered 8 MHz internal clock bootloader to a microcontroller and third about the application with the same microcontroller and display. So our project has solar cell as energy harvesting device, a capacitor bank to store the energy and a low power microcontroller with display for the application. This is the hardware circuit to upload the bootloader to Atmega 328P. The circuit was built on breadboard. I am not using any 22 picofarad bypass capacitor and 10 kilo ohms pull up resistor. Doing it on breadboard has its own disadvantages like loose connection and unimpressed subscribers. To upload 16 MHz normal bootloader, check whether your Arduino Uno is connected or not. So go to the tools menu, select port option and select a communication serial port, COM6 for my computer. It may be different in yours. Select boards from tools menu, go to Arduino AVR boards, select Arduino Uno. If you don't have a Uno, buy, borrow, steal a Uno. Go to file, examples, select Arduino ISP, click upload. For uploading the bootloader, connect the Arduino to Atmega 328P as shown in the schematic. Go to tools, programmer, Select Arduino as ISP. Go to Tools, select Burn Bootloader. I got an error as loose connection in breadboard wiring. So this is a solder circuit which I made and bootloader was finally burned. Whew. For low power 8 MHz crystal oscillator bootloader, uploading the ISP is same as ever. You have to go to board, go to breadboard, select Atmega 328 on 8 MHz internal clock, click burn bootloader under the tools menu. You need to take out the microcontroller from Arduino Uno. Put the microcontroller containing uploaded 8 MHz bootloader into the Arduino Uno board. Without changing any setting, upload the program you have written. So here is my solar cell and here is the microcontroller. And this is connected to a multimeter which will monitor the voltage generated by this solar cell when light source is near it. So here is my solar uh, cell and here is the capacitor bank. So the solar cell charges this capacitor bank through this diode and this capacitor bank after reaching a voltage can power the microcontroller itself. So after it reaches more than 2.5 volts you can see the display turning on and showing you the message. So let us see what message it shows. So this is my 9 watt bulb, so I'll just bring it near to the solar cell. And as you can see the voltage is rising.
so here you can see the message so let me zoom a little Now if I take the light source away, so you will see the voltage again dropping down. So now you saw the display faded away because it has reached below the threshold voltage in which the microcontroller and the display work. So again I will bring the light source. So you see the voltage is rising. So I will just bring it up to 3 volt such that it stays for a long time. So at this light the voltage remains stable. There is very slow degradation. So if you like the video please like share and subscribe and thank you till then goodbye. So in the next upcoming video we will try to make a complete solar powered smart watch or wearable watch which has no battery in it but a super capacitor in place of the battery and it is powered by the solar cell. So subscribe such that you don't miss the next video. Till then goodbye. Thank you.